desert dwelling people, yeah, like hundreds of thousands of people, men, saying the best amongst you, uh, no white man is better than a black man. No way. Listen. No Arab is better than a non-Arab. Listen here. Let me tell you something right now. What we know about, we all came from one. Yeah. We all is one. Regardless of color, creed, or whatever it is, yeah. that's where the segregation come in because of the color returning to. You know, the Prophet Muhammad, he actually said in a hadith that look, um, we was um, created in different colors and nations, so we may go and like recognize one another. Does that make sense? So. It's not for us to just stay stick with our community. It's just Allah has created us diverse for a reason, and we should use that diversity to actually get to know one another. Do you know what I mean? Yes. So continue with the final sermon of the Prophet when he was saying, "No black man is better than a white man who was given women's rights." I'm saying, who done that 1,400 years ago? Who did? Yeah. 1,400 years ago, um, there's a black Ethiopian slave. His name is Bilal. Yeah. Bilal. Bilal Radanu, he stood in, on top of the Kaaba, right? And he gave the call to prayer. You know what the Kaaba is? It's the black box in, built by Abraham that all Muslims will face when we pray. Kaaba, our direction. Listen, Qibla. Let me ask you something. Go for it, madam. See the Muslim and thing and all them really just sitting there. Yeah. Are we not all the same thing? Are we not? Are we not all praising the same God? Jesus, Amen, Abilab, Abraham, whoever they want, name him. Then call him all kind of name. You get I would me? say. But really and truly, we are, we are praying to the, the same Father. I don't. There, there's two parts to that. We understand. There's we are all the same. It, it, there's some different one, or another one over there, or one another one over there. Because my belief says all of them is the same. All it is that we just gave them different names. We give yourself there's, there's, there's two parts to what you've said. All right. We're all the same as in God created us all. But the continuation of that hadith, the final sermon, the Prophet said in regards to women's rights, a white man's not better than black men, an Arab and non-Arab. The thing that differentiates you is your connection with God. Now you're saying the Father, you're saying Jesus. I'm saying who's God? We need to worship the one is. true God. Tell me, madam. Let me tell you who God tell is. Me. Yourself. Yourself is God. Yes. Let me believe. Let me tell you. You is elaborate. God. Elaborate. No, we are all gods. Just we just don't know. Remember. Let me let me finish. Yeah. Seven if you just speak seven. to this gentleman. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He came in the image of us. The same image of us. So he's just like a normal somebody. We just don't know. If you follow the same doctrine. Yeah, the father, the ancestor, Jesus, whatever you want to name him. Because I'm a God. I'm a goddess. And I believe that. Because I ain't following anything. I now, know. What you you're understand? saying sounds nice. Is very much like pantheism. You are a God. Yeah. You are in your own right. That if being said, right. in Islam, we've defined God. Allah has defined God in the Quran. God. You don't have to believe anything else. What are you doing? Just follow the doctrine and guidance. I can't be God. Life. Yes, you are. I can't be God because I'm not self sustaining, I'm not eternal. I don't have the ability to create. Does that make sense? So I'm saying. He came in the image of us. We can. In the same image as us. Didn't he? Do you not get it in your Quran? We don't, we don't believe. In the Bible. We don't believe Jesus Christ came in the image. Like, we don't believe God came in the form of Jesus Christ as a man. We believe God is separate from his creation, is above his throne, away from the creation, but has control over, has knowledge of the creation. A spirit. What do you mean? A spirit that are over the creation. <coughs> we're in Korean. What uh, is it? What is it? What are we trying to get to? Because let me, really, if we don't know where we're going, we're just going to be in this bank account. Let me give you a four line oh, definition yes, of God. Long. Yeah. God is uniquely one. Do you agree? Yes. God is self sustaining, eternal. As in, doesn't need anything from anyone, is able to look after himself. Of course, and he looks yeah. after everybody else. Now, me and you, we don't meet the first criteria. We're not uniquely one. We, there are other human beings. We are not self-sustaining. We're in need of food. God is not in need of food. 
yeah i need to like go and get food like i can't create food by itself like do you know what i mean i'm a, I, I don't have the ability to make the food yeah the fourth one is um he doesn't have offspring nor was he born i was born you was born we cannot be god and the last one is um you cannot compare the create um god is um unique? is unique you can't compare him with the crea- how did you know unique there's nothing comparable to god so I'm telling you, you're your own God. I rate that, you know. I rate that. No, no, no. You know, you literally. You are well be on God. You see? My brain stopped working. Look, and nor is there any equal to him. It's unique, basically. Of course. So Allah created everything. Allah is uncreated. We worship the Creator, not the creation. Have you ever read the Quran, madam? No. Can I give you the English Quran for you to read? Take away with you. Will you give me for free? Yes. Yes, sure. Okay, give me a Quran. Sure, yeah, give me Come on, bruv. So, my husband, my daughter, yeah. she actually goes out of Bangladeshi guy. Yeah. And I'm trying to figure it out. Yeah. It's a separation of different culture. You understand? She's a black English girl. She's there with him for 78 years. Bangladeshi boy. Totally is he a good boy though? Does he pray five times a day? I don't think so. Then slap him up. <laughs> slap him up. Yeah. yeah. I, I had to tell him off yesterday. Yeah. I literally had to tell him give some serious talking. Because is he is did he marry your daughter? Yeah? Did he marry your daughter? Did he marry her? Did then he slap marry him up. He married, and that's Say look, he ain't gonna be serious. He's been together for what? Seven years. This year is eight years. Nah, nah, tell Seven him. Years. Tell him, I don't even want to swear, but I'll say something B clap. Yeah. yeah. For real. If it not work, Put a ring on it. Yeah, it is. Hurry up, man. Yeah. That's even madam. the sister saying the same thing. Because, but anyway, it's nice to talk to you. My pleasure, madam. My I pleasure sincerely appreciate your time. Look Thank you so much. Get off the bus. I just literally got off the 276. And what did I do? Walk into you. Now. It's the plan of God, you know what I mean? Look at that. <coughs> Look at that beautiful brother with a grey beard. That's a Jamaican brother. Look at that brother with a ginger beard. White Caucasian. Okay. Look at this guy with a black beard. Bangladeshi. Yeah. yeah. And uh, look where Miss Sun up. Yeah. No. What's that, sorry? Look where I end up. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, I get it, I get it. Nah, nah, I get it, I get it. That's fine, that's fine. That's where I ended up, ain't it? Yeah. So, so I would say, this is for you. Oh, bless. I would say, Get your daughter to pass by here. We'll have a little convo with her. Because what's more important than marrying the right man or marrying a Bengali or whatever, yeah. or being in a relationship, is connecting with God. Definitely. Knowing God, knowing what God wants from us, defining God. And going the right path for your life. There you go. Because at the end of the day, we're all going to die. Exactly. And yeah. just want to live a good life. No, live a yeah. no, no, live a good life so you can get a good paradise. Exactly. Not go to know. It goes without answering. What you give is what you get. Yeah. Your life. You see me. If you live good, good will come to you. And I'm well, I'm 16. Yeah. And I will tell you that. Yeah. Madam, thank you very much for your time. You're welcome. Um, to be continued. We're here every Saturday. Oh, nice. Next time you get off the bus here, yeah, come I'll through come again, yeah. What's thank your name? you so much. Ridwan. Ridwan. Sorry, madam, I don't shake hands oh, okay. for religious reasons because yeah. I don't I don't have the right to touch you. Yeah, thank you, madam. Right, yeah, thank take you so much, madam. Yeah. You take care. Have thank a good you. Evening. You too. Nice to talk with you. Thank you.